It's really high. I'm so sorry. I had to eat something. Um, I'm so sorry to keep you all waiting. Um, so I have Jazz Jennings doll here with me. And I am, you know, I have her box right here. So I'm going to do my best to really soften up her look. And to make her look as beautiful, to make the doll look as beautiful as her. Um, and the thing is, she's just, she has very pink, rosy cheeks and, you know, she's just such a beautiful young girl. So without further ado, everyone, here we go. We're going to start repainting Jazz Jennings. And I'm going to start by removing the original paintwork on her. Estoy hablando con el público. Ya estoy en vivo. Porque la gente se escucha. Look. Yeah, sorry it took so long, everyone. I had to make an important video chat phone call and um so as you can see i'm going to start removing this original paint take it right off i'm talking to my husband on the other phone so i'm glad you can all catch me and hear me so see that that's an eyebrow right there I'm only going to keep very little of the original work. I I do realize I'm going to have to use some pink, pinkish earth tones um, to really enhance the shading and shadowing of her to really take this particular face uh, mode and bring out her beautiful feminine features. So I'm going to try to bring out her feminine features in this doll. It's been a long time since I've attempted to paint a doll with a head mold this small. Maybe. What? It's very good. It's very good. I'm going to paint it. Bye. Bye. All right. I'm getting rid of all the darkness over her eyes because Jazz Jennings doesn't have all this dark shadowing. Oh, I'm looking for the picture. Well, I'm hoping she's going to look like Jazz Jennings the way she's supposed to look. Um, that That's what I'm hoping. So now I'm removing the lip color completely. There we go. Okay. Now, cotton ball as alcohol. Ooh, almost knocked me out. Okay, so most paint work is gone. Now I'm going to take a little acetone make sure that I have cleaned all of her face because I'm going to do a little shadowing and stuff like that to really enhance her beauty of this particular sculpt. Soften it up, give it some color. Wow, I wonder why did they make her look so sad? We got to cheer this girl up. Um, I don't get the TLC channel. So, the only thing about her I've seen is what's on YouTube or social media, but I do believe she deserves to look beautiful. She's worked hard to be the beautiful young woman that she is, and she's been through a lot of hell. Um, what do you use to paint her face? Acrylic. I use acrylic paints, um, all of that. So, as you can see here, I'm just going to pour the plastic out. 
I can glue that with a glue gun. I'm going by the photos on her box. And you know what? This girl does not have one picture where her mouth is closed. This girl always, she's always smiling. She always has a smile on her face. I mean, she's just a beautiful, happy child all the way up to this beautiful young woman whom she is today. She's always smiling. You know, I really believe that inner happiness she has. So this is what happens when you come from a family that truly loves you unconditionally. How many of us wish we had that kind of love, you know? Okay, so here she is. Yeah, I let the eyes, I'm just going to leave that like that. I'm just going to retouch it up some. But I'm going to use my phone here and I'm going to try to find a picture of her. Or maybe she's not smiling, but a slight smile, which I can do that easily. Jazz Jennings. Hey, Google, pictures of Jazz Jennings. Jazz Jennings. According to Wikipedia, Jazz Jennings is an American YouTube personality, spokesmodel, television personality, and LGBT rights activist. Okay, images... Oh, this girl is never not smiling. Oh, wait, there's one. She's not smiling. Let me see this picture. She's wearing a swimsuit. Can I do that? The nose. Hmm. So here's a picture of her not smiling. But the sun is in her eyes, so her lips have, like, piercing to them. What about this one? Sure, her, her hair should have been light brown. Um, this girl never, is never stops smiling. I'm trying to find a picture similar to what I'm going to paint. Oh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I like the eyes on this picture. Oops. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come back. I'm going to show you. I can do this with some paintwork. Oh, this is from her Twitter account. I didn't know about that. <laughs> Okay, where is the picture? Oh my God. How do I... How do you... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to go for that, okay? So, that's what I'm going to go for. Thank you. I'm glad you like Kira. She's sitting behind the camera. All of her paintwork is dry. Her lips are nice and glossy. So this is my inspiration picture of Jazz Jennings for her doll. Great. I'm going to have to get my camera to count. Oh, my gosh. Mm, I need to do a little white on top of the eyelid. And her eyes are bigger. How do I do this? I can. Okay. I see what I'm doing. Got it. I'm going to do some white. I'm going to do her eye makeup. Add some shimmer. I should have printed this picture. I need to print this picture. I It's okay. I can see it. So. Um, very skinny brush. Not that one. All right, guys. Here we go. Okay, I got you. That's your mom's profile. As long as your mom's cool with it, 
I'm fine. I can't control what people watch or simply don't watch. See, they made her eyes look sort of sad looking. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to make her eyes more open. Hi, Grayson. No, I haven't been on live for an hour. I've only been on for like 10 minutes. No idea. I can hear my mom talking. There are some things I wish I didn't have to hear. Okay. I'm thinking. Because i got to figure out a way to make her eyes look a lot more open. So I've started with a little white over the eye. But I'm going to make her eyes look more open and more happy. That happy cheerfulness that she possesses. This is definitely going to take a while. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, send me good vibes, everyone. Send me good vibes. I can't mess this up. Let me look at my picture. Where's the girl at? I don't get it. How can they not... How could they have not done her face more prettier? This girl is so beautiful. How could they not have made her prettier? Seriously. God, if I had a face like hers. Oh, Jesus. She's absolutely stunning. Well, if I can do what I do to American Girl, I can certainly do it to this doll. Oh, there we go. Get the white done. So I'm going to have to reshape her eyes a little bit because they look empty. Her eyes have a very empty look. Almost like a sadness. Okay, there's the white eyeshadow. <sighs> I am going to give her some glam, but I want I wanted to like jazz. I do want it to look like her. It has to look like her because if by if there's some way she ends up seeing this, I want her to feel like I did her some justice. You know what I'm saying? In a very respectful way, that means a lot. <laughs> Grayson, I'm not going to teach you how to reboot. You're too young. You're only eight, sweetheart. I love you. But no. I'm not going to teach you how to reboot yet. Wait till you get older. You got plenty of time. Why not, Linda, unless you join the dog club. That's when we will talk about rebooting. And we do that for a very long time. Okay, this is dark chocolate. Oh, God. Oh, that's Dixie, honey. I have a picture of her mom when her mama was a baby. Yep. I try to keep it in the family, but I think she'd be the last one in the bloodline that I have. Because this one can't, she hasn't, she hasn't been able to get, she can't get out to get pregnant. Thank you. I named her after that show, The Heart of Dixie. Oh, that's okay. We'll make some of this brown. It's much better. Ooh, it's very liquid. Okay, come on, girl. Okay, 
Okay, that's gonna be a good dojo, good for lashes. I need something a little thicker for the eyeball. I think this might work. I'm doing some painting on her eyeballs. I'm trying to make them look more open and not as empty. And bigger. Because her eyes were nice and big and happy looking. And I really, really want to bring that out. Hi, Ryo Legend Lee. What? You sorry about what? Okay, um, raising up grace. That's fine, sweetheart. I totally get it. Okay. I don't get it. What do you mean you can't see my video? All right, so see, there are her eyes. I'm trying to get this right, so. Ooh, math. Oh, you're doing math homework? Good luck with that. Oh, I was never good at math. Mm. Let me look at this picture again of her. <laughs> That's scary. Grayson, honey, you're not an artist. Of course it's scary. I have to give it a base color. Um... Okay, I need a nice warm color to go over the eye. I'm taking this one. Uh -huh. One thing you have to understand when it comes to painting a doll's eyes a face this is not adding eyebrows this is not me adding um eyelashes no this is a full repaint like on like you would do on a barbie doll and of course it looks scary it's always going to get ugly before it looks better did you think it was going to be instant magic and voila, but done? <sighs> so you have to get the right colors first. It's the step process.
Okay, her eyebrows are dark brown with black. Oh, God, that's three colors. Yeah, this is like mesh. I need to take it off, though, to prevent paint from getting on it. It's thick fabric. See, this is a very thick fabric. It's cotton. It's really not a thin, cheap piece of fabric. It's it's very good quality. I need to take it off and set it over to the side. And just really have her like this. Because I don't want to get paint on her outfit. I don't know why I didn't give her her boobs. I mean, Jazz, she has breasts. So, so far, see what we're coming at. What's the my shadow? So, we're going to end up giving her... Once I get the eyeshadow done right, I'm going to give it some shimmer. Did I clean this off with cotton? I think so. Making sure I wipe her vinyl off with, I mean, alcohol. Before I continue anymore. Makes me nervous because I'm doing an actual, so you know, a real person who's iconic live on YouTube. It's not like you get a second chance if you mess it up. But yeah, it's very soft. Okay. So I need to do the black eyeliner over there with a the little swing. Now, I use a cotton swab with alcohol to clean the vinyl so that her face vinyl is clean. Um... Because she has really full lips, that I can tell. So I'm going to be using about two different colors for her lips. Darker around the edges. I need to turn this like this. Um, I'm looking at her eyebrows good. Okay. Mm, I need a skinnier brush. This one. I don't really know a lot about her. I just know that I don't know. She just has a wonderful personality. And I want to do it right. So let's look at these eyebrows and get them right on the box. I'm so used to working with bigger doll heads. Oh my gosh. I didn't even take a picture before or after. Oh my God. That looks so much better. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see that. So, here's part of an eyebrow. So, that looks more like her eyebrow. Definitely more softer, but see, it's going to be 3D. I'm using a lighter color underneath before I go with a darker color. 
that three-dimensional look. So it has to be done right. She's talking to her chihuahua, telling her chihuahua she needs to stop jumping up and down. Oh, there we go. That part of the eye. Oh, okay. Now go to the other eyebrow. Part of the doll's head has a dent in it. Wonder why. J Grayson, do you watch Jazz Jennings? Do you watch her? Are you familiar with her show? Who she is? Oh, I was expecting to see a comment. Oopsie, guess that was wrong. Don't worry, I'll show y'all my progress as I'm coming along. I'm working her eyebrows at this very moment. To look like the cover of the box, I gotta create this shape. Okay, here we are, sneak peek. So we're starting with the basics. This girl has got to have more hair. I can't stand it. I, I do have saran hair. I'm going to use a light brown to mix in to give highlights and depth to her hair. And then I'm going to give her curls. We have got to give the girl curls. First thing that's important is to get the base part down. I don't know why. He made her look kind of like a boy. I don't know why he did that. I mean, seriously. It's very obvious she's not a boy. I don't know why he gave her the body of a boy. But also some features like that. He could, I, I know Robert Tonner. Like, I've met him several times. He could have done better than this. But then again, I mean, I don't know. All of his dolls had that look. But with this being an actual person, I, I, I think he could have done better. Okay, I got the creases of the eyelid done. So I'm going to end up... Nope, not ready for black yet. Am I? No. I need to go with the dark brown around the edges, around her eyes. Now, add a little black mixture with this. Oh, so, I don't know if you can see what's happening, but it's coming slowly. I'm looking at the colors of this picture here. No, she would not be smiling, so it's going to be a mixture of that and the photo I just showed you as inspiration. So, I still have a lot to do. This is why I did my American Girl doll first, because... That's not a real person, and I just go off the whim of my imagination of what I'm going to do. So as for this particular doll, I know that it's not about my imagination. I'm going by pictures and things like that. I 
And I'm going to need to add sparkle. I do have shimmer. Black. My legs are hurting from sitting like this so long. Okay, water. Mix a little black with the brown. Sorry, um, let me see. Oh my God, I missed so many comments. What? Wow, 2 a.m. where you're at? Wow. Well, it's taking more time. I mean, with the celebrity doll, it always takes more time. If you want it to actually look like the person. So, here's her eyebrow that I'm working on now. So, I'm coming very slowly. <sighs> no, Paris Hilton does not have a doll, but then again, she'll say Barbie. So you can just take a Barbie and create your own out of her. That should be quite easy to do. I'm doing her eyeliner over her eye. <gasps> I was like literally holding my breath. I'm doing some eyelashes. Don't worry, I'll keep you updated in the moment. I'm giving her extra eyelashes for extra drama. And girliness. So 
our there's our clothes. What do you think? What do you think of the eyebrow? How are the lashes coming? Mm, how was that looking? Oh my god, I'm not seeing any comments. <sighs> yeah, Gracie, you just said it was creepy. Now you're saying it looks great. I told you, you have to just be patient. <sighs> I mean, you know, I'm going to end up doing a little bit thicker with the eyebrows because I'm doing individual hair-like eyebrows. There we go. Okay, there. Oh my God, Mama, everybody can hear you. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait for losing. Okay, girl, let's give you some more lashes. Extra more lashes for sure. Yeah, I like that. Okay, put that brush in. I need to work on her pupil. Um, what brush? What brush? Oh my gosh. Not one of those. Well, my mom was freaking out because she thought the doll was like, because of the black hair and everything. My mom was like, she swore. Yes, my mother is swearing like a truck driver. But my mom was like, oh my God, she the doll, doll, she thought it looked like me. At first glance. Oh, that looks much better. Don't worry, I'm showing you as my progress goes, little by little. Okay, so here's how we're starting. Here's how it's coming. So, see, it's coming. Um, I'm going to do a little um, contouring with like a little makeup around the parts of her nose, especially the cheeks in here, around the hairline. I'm going to give her some white pupils to make her eyes like they sparkle. Where is my shimmer? Okay, that is way too much shimmer glitter, okay? So I need something to just give a shimmer, and I do have that. Because she needs shimmery eyeshadow. God, this is going to take a while. Where's this stuff at for the lips? Yes, well, there's definitely potty mouth in my family. But then again, so is Grayson, so. Yeah, <laughs> he's used to it as well. It's all good, right, Grayson? <laughs> We're used to hearing people say bad things in our families. Lord knows, yes, we are. Okay, where is my shimmer? He hears it all the time, especially from Grandma. <laughs> ah, here we go. Shimmer. Oh, that's what I'm going to put over her eyelids. I'm working on one eye at a time while this is shaking. Let's go ahead and work on this other eye. I am nervous painting this doll. I think it's because it's, it's, because it's actually of a real person. Um, and many of you know her, watch her show, and perhaps grew up watching her.
Now, what would you do if I told you that this doll was actually sent to me from someone of Jazz Jennings' department team, her team, and was sent to me for me to make over to look more like her? <laughs> what would you do if I told you that? Okay, getting the other eyebrow done. I mean, one thing I have to understand too is that high raising up grace is that I charge everyone the same price when I do their dolls. I don't charge anyone more than the other person, so it's affordable for some people, and some people think it's too much. But like I said, I had to be in the mood, completely in the zone when I'm doing this. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. Go to bed. <sighs> okay, let's work on the other eyelid. The well eyeliner. Dixie, what is in your mouth? Get it out. Oh, my God. What are you eating, you crazy nut? Come here. Come here. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh, girl, get up here and go to sleep. What in the world? I hope she didn't swallow something. She keeps swallowing stuff. It's crazy. Oh. Okay. She's, she thinks she's a goat. I swear. She's trying to eat paper, plastic, cardboard. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do with her. Oh, I like those eyelashes. I am nervous. My last video had over 200 people who were actually watching. Okay, I'm going to pull some of the hair down. Okay, so. We're coming. We're getting there. It's looking more like her, right? 
I mean, come on, I have to do this right. It, you know, she represents others, the other girls who are, you know, who lived her life. They lived her, you know, ever. This is an iconic, iconic doll who literally exposed her whole life for the whole world. To be ridiculed, to be, she went through a lot of crap, even on social media. She didn't deserve that. But not only that, she's been an inspiration to so many young girls and boys, men, women of all ages. And the pressure is on. Oh, I had to read that last one. I like that dramatic eyelashes. <sighs> I'm literally not breathing while I do this. It's a shame I didn't go ahead and prepare Saran hair um, to make tracks to be sewn, I mean glued into those spaces. Dixie's fine now. She's lying over here. Okay, I gotta do something. One eye looks a little sleepy like than the other for some reason. It's gotta be the face sculpt. That's for sure. Because it's definitely not me. Hmm. Wow, it does look more like her. Okay, here are the eyes. Trust me, when I turn the camera around, it'll look much better. Punky Brewster? Who, who is that? Punky Brewster. Where's the white paint? Take this. Oh, okay, there's the white dots. Probably better, much more realistic. <sighs> so, baby, now I can breathe again. I'm using one, two, three, four, five. I'm using six different paintbrushes already. Okay, girls, it's time for the lips. I'm going to make sure I get them nice and clean with some acetone. I want them nice and clean and the tip of her nose with no shine. So when I start doing some shadowing to really enhance the color of this vinyl. So, okay, I'm going to show you her eyes. Um, yeah, this is the only outfit I have for her unless she ends up with something else. So I'm going to show you a sneak peek of her eyes so far. I can't see because of the letters. 
So anyway, I'm guessing, I think that looks more like her. I did the eyebrows, more dramatic eyelashes. So what really makes it come together is going to be the shadowing, the blushing, the lips. That's going to really make it come together. But the eyes give the doll soul and heart. You know what I mean? That's it. So I'm double checking anything I want to do. I need some shimmer. Here we are. I'm using Folk Art Extreme Glitter Shimmer. I'm going to put over her eye, around her eyes, up in this part of her eye for that shimmer, okay? So this is my trib tribute to every little trans girl. Has always been inspired and had inspiration, and may you continue to be inspired to be yourself, to be true to yourself, and to love who you are and to feel comfortable in your skin. This uh, video is dedicated to all of you. All right, let's go up in these eyes with the shimmer. I'm going to go underneath the eyes with this as well. I do not know what my cat ate, but it does concern me. I'm adding shimmer over the brow bone. Grayson, you say that, okay? You always tell me that. Okay, time for lips. I then gave her some shimmer over her eyes, so that will have to dry. Now let me see. Come on, girly. Lip color. Basically, the colors I just used on... Um. Oh my God, this kid is so beautiful. Basically the same color as I used on Kira. So that works. That's cool. Okay, let's grab them. Look at all the paint. Look at all the paint and stuff on here. <sighs> I'm nervous because I'm doing a real person. That's what makes me nervous. I'm not like trying to be inspired or do something. I mean, this is a doll that's made of a real person who's actually still... Um, current and you know what I'm saying? Oh no, where do you see the eyes? I, I done touched them up. Okay. Oh my god, what brush? I'm gonna use this brush for the lips.
I have a towel. There's a towel all around this whole area. So I'm using a towel to cover up all that space. This is the color. Oh my God, the brush is too big. I need a smaller brush to give her that smile, you know, at the little peaks of the edges of her mouth. I told y'all I was nervous. I didn't lie. I was very serious. I am. Because I feel like, oh my God, if she's watching. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so here are the eyes one more time. So you can see, look, from the side, from my angle, I gave her more dramatic lashes. Okay, so once I do her lipstick, I'm going to use some paint. Um, I'm going to use it once I'm, let's get these lips right. I got to get her lips right. I got the lip color, so this is going to work great. Sorry, I can't look at comments right now. I am just so nervous. Oh my God, someone says she's watching. I just called her. That That's very funny. Okay. I need to put that brush down. Give me one that's more pointy. You got to get those side edges. I wanted to have a slight smile. I wanted to look happy. That works. And she is so lucky. She has the perfect lips that everyone's trying to get. And hers are natural. Now. You're going to have to understand, the way this face sculpt was made by the artist, the person who made the face sculpt, they made it where, you know, it's not symmetrical, it's made to like a real person, so the, um, 
the way they made the lips, it's not the exact same side on one side as the other. So please take note of that when I show you the look to make it look realistic. I don't know, it kind of makes it look a little cartoony in a way, I suppose. Let me see, mix a little darker to go around the edges of her mouth. Okay. Who's ready for a sneak peek? I tried to make her look a little more like a little smile here in the corners. So it didn't look quite as dull. So I do think that does look better. And I am so nervous. I really am. Oh, I do. I have to say that looks much better. It's going to look a lot better when the hair is done. Oh, God. I am, I am nervous. Like, seriously. I am, I don't know. I, I think it's because, you know, with hashtags and everything, she'll probably see the doll. It's a lot more likely she's going to see the doll. That makes me nervous, you know? But then again, I mean, I think it's looking better than the original doll. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm still doing a few things with the lips. I'm waiting for them to dry because I'm having to mix a little more of a mauve color. Excuse me, a little more brown color in with the um other color that was there. <sighs> But I am like, seriously, I'm just not even going to lie. I am nervous about painting her doll. But at the same time, I couldn't leave it the way it was. Okay. In the world are they doing? Oh, use that brown right there. Yes. I need a dark mauve color. And I have to create it with three and four different paint colors. So I'm thinking. It's okay, Dixie. It's someone throwing stuff in a dumpster. All right, there we go. Okay, guys. I'm still working on the lips. The magic is only starting to begin. The magic will really pop when I start shading this. When I start adding the pink cheeks and getting her skin color right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's going to really bring her to life.
As you see, I'm doing the lips again more, uh, more of a 3D effect. Get these little upper edge corners. There, we're trying to create something of a little smile. I want to look happy because he did it with a closed mouth and she has on teeth. Well, I'm going to put um, in the description hashtag, hashtag Jazz Jennings. So, yeah, we'll see. I also put on there that I was going to be repainting um, her doll. So, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, hopefully she'll like the work and she'll be happy with it. And that's all that matters. If she likes it and her fans like it. I mean, she's very iconic to so many people. You know, she's very, a very dear, precious person in the community. And she's taking so many risks, a lot of risks with her own life to stand up for what she believes in. So she's, she's iconic. <laughs> Look, Paris is like, all right, Paris, I'm working on the Jazz Jennings dolls. Are you ready for a sneak peek? I'm still working on her lips. Look at those lips, see? <sighs> I like that. I do not know what this doll refit tells for. The only way you can get her is on um, eBay. Because this doll was produced a few years ago. And I mean, I'm still working on her lips. They're like three-dimensional. What do you think? She's pretty. What is it? I can't make this. You know what size that damn pattern is? No, what pattern? A 20 to a 28. What pattern did you bought? Honey, you can take it back. You will have to have the receipt. Um, possibly not. This is me off. Do you want to exchange it for the same pattern? Yeah. Yeah, they should let you for bigger size. I need a little of size. So, as you can see, I'm doing it. Oh, so here's the girl. Mom! My goodness, girl. Hold on, look. What? So, hold on. There she is. I'm trying to make the doll look more like her. What's that under her eyes? The shimmer. You know that shimmer white powder I use? I see it on the doll. Let me see the doll. Well, she's pretty. Oh, is that one you're for them? No, this is the girl Jazz Jennings. Remember the doll when I opened it, you freaked out because you said it looked like me? Yeah. This is her, but I'm making it look more like the girl. Uh, more like the actual girl. What do you mean size 20? Is that too big or too little? Now don't you think a 20 is too big for Leonard? A 20? He thought he said he was a 34 in the waist. He's 34 in the waist. Mama, just hold on. I'll go looking through my stuff tonight when I'm done. I'll look at patterns and see oh. if I can um find something. 
Look at that. Y'all had to, y'all don't went on anybody looking her up. So yeah, this, this doll actually came out a few years ago. So it's not a new doll. My heart is racing. Okay, I got her lips. Yes. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I did her lips. Look, there's her lips. <sighs> it took three colors of paint, three or four colors of paint to make her lips. Oh my gosh. Well, y'all the one asking about if y'all want one, you better snatch them up. Because she was a limited edition doll. Okay. Now I'm adding a whole another color to go underneath. Oh my god. That is way too much. Oh, geez. Ooh. This doll is making me nervous. Yes, definitely. I did it. I added another lighter color to the bottom lip. Her lips are done. Now it is time to give Jazz her shading. So here she is, guys. Here she is like this. Now let's give Jazz Jennings her blush, right? The girl needs her blush. We got her eyebrows and eyes right. The little shimmer near the eye. So that turned out. Whew. Oh my God. And one sold for a dollar last month. Yeah, people probably don't look for her. Uh, because they probably, a lot of people do not know about this doll. Like for real, they just, they don't. Until now I brought it up. I think Robert Thomas should do another version of her to look more like her today. I'm cleaning my brushes because I'm not done with her yet. I gotta do her nails. Wait, I don't I don't even see fingernail polish on her nails. I gotta look at her box again. Or her Twitter or something. Cause I mean, if, if I'm making the doll to look like oh god, I gotta do it right. Because if I don't, people go show. Tell me about it. Oh, wow. Yeah, this doll hasn't been made put in production for years. Um, I, I think it was before she had some stuff done. All right. All right, girly girl. Let me see. What colors I need to give you. I got to get comfortable. <sighs> you think it was a promotional doll? Mm, well, I got one. Well, it was this doll was sent to me from someone who watches me on YouTube. Remember, I did the opening. Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of a nice color. This one, this one has to be it. Okay, guys, here we go. Put this in some water. All right, here we go. I'm doing the um shadowing.
wish me luck. And the painting I'm doing, I'm trying to do it very, the shadowing in a very natural way. Now to the cheekbone area. What really gets me is, I mean, they did good capturing a sculpt, but, you know, she, she her face is a lot more feminine, feminine looking than this. It's a shame Mattel didn't do the doll, but then again, I mean, I don't know, maybe for them it was for too much, too taboo or something at the time. So I'm using some paint to do some contouring along her face so you can see. And I'm blending it. Blend, blend, blend. All right, now I'm gonna add a little pinkish color in with that. You can tell her face is clean.
Oh, here we go. Blush those cheeks. Yes, make her look like herself. All right, here I'm going to get a little sneak peek. Oof. Oh my gosh, don't worry, I'll show with the other camera in a few minutes. So I've done contouring around the nose area, um, but it's not showing up in this lighting. So give me a minute, I'm going to finish blushing her, and I'll end up taking the camera, switching it around, because the other lens on the back side is going to pick up a lot more detail. Oh my god, I forgot to look and see what kind of thing you know polish she wears. I'm adding blushing underneath here. And to try to give her that glow, you know? A picture, she has this happy, glowy look about her. Hmm. All right, set the paint aside, put all of this junk into that styrofoam plate. Oh, I need to give her highlights. She needs highlights, she needs lip gloss, but I'm going to go ahead now and take my camera down and turn it around and show you. So here she is. And it'll look better. It would look better with um, sealer and gloss. I need to fix her bangs. I am nervous. <laughs> Because it's like, if you do it right, you do it right. If you if you mess it up, you are dead forever. So I'm showing in different lighting. Now remember, this has no sealer. There is no gloss on her lips or anything. <sighs> so does she resent, does she look like the original girl? Mm, let me tip her head up. You know, she's got her bangs and stuff like that. Um, I need to redo our hair, and which I am. I'm going to redo hair. I'm going to add more highlights and stuff like that. So, I don't know. You tell me. Did, did I capture Jazz Jennings with this doll? I want you to be honest with me. I don't want I don't want a beautiful lie. I want the, you know, I want the truth. I want the realness. As you see, I gave her more dramatic eyelashes. The blushing, all of it. Whew, I am so nervous. I've been nervous painting this all the whole time. <laughs> the eyelashes are painted, sweetheart. I painted this entire doll's face. <sighs> I hope I captured Jazz Jennings' beauty, 
her innocence, and that beautiful glow that she always has. Uh, I did my best with what I had, so. You can see the shimmer around her eyes up there. Now, I, I think I'm going to give her lips some gloss and make them shimmery. Now, you can look and tell they made the eyes one more round than the other. So, I had nothing to do with the making of the sculpt. But, she is going to get thicker hair. I'm going to add some light brown highlights mixed in with this. I am going to do that. And she's going to be a center place. Oh, we got to give her some nails. <sighs> okay, set that up there. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm looking at her on Twitter. Oh, Jenny sent me a message. I'm going to tell her I'm live. She sent me a message. Oh my God, that's been like, uh, that was at 9.48. Okay. Um, Jazz Jennings, Jazz Jennings. Let me see. Did she paint her nails? I'm looking for a color. I don't, I don't see any photos of her hand. That's her brother on her um page. Oh, here's a picture. Oh, she's talking. Um, okay, I'm about to go to photos, put the Google of pictures. Oh my God, that's Walmart.com. Lord have mercy. Okay, there we go. Jazz Jennings, 2020. Okay, girl. She looks so gorgeous. They need to do a new dog. I don't think she paints her nails. This is... She does not. She does not paint her nails. So here's a picture of her hair. She had a mermaid tattoo. Hmm, that's cool. Has she, wow, has she gained weight? Well, then again, I mean, considering, no, it's just a bad picture. She has not gained weight. I'm looking for a picture of her in a swimsuit. I mean, I'm sorry, not a swimsuit. I'm seeing a picture of her in a swimsuit, but I'm looking for a picture of her with her nails painted. No, she does not have painted fingernails. Okay, whatever. So, I'm going to give her French style nails, and I'm also, we need thicker hair with a lighter brown color mixed in. I'm going to have to show you how to make um, homemade wefts made of saran hair. And then crazy glue it onto the spots in her head. And then give her some super waves. But first, I need to give her some more blush. For sure. And then um, I'm going to seal. I'm missing comments. Snap Star dolls. I, I don't Snap Star. I don't know what they are. Well, um, the artist who did the sculpt to this doll, I actually know him. He lives in Kingston, New York. I've met him several times 
in person. I have many pictures done with him. So when I apply this doll onto social media, I'm going to hashtag him onto it. There we go. Get her um nice and blushed up. Dixie, what are you doing about there, girl? Okay. Okay, cool. That's nice and blushed. Oh, yeah, we got to give her more hair. Girl needs more hair. Jazz Jennings has thick, amazing hair. And the doll has to represent the girl. Correct? Absolutely. So we're going to blush up her hands a little bit here. Okay, forget the Q-tip. Give me a cotton ball. What is the deal? Yes, give her some skin color. Make her come to life. Yes, much better. So don't worry. I will be putting pictures of her like this on Instagram. And um, Facebook and everything. I'm adding color to her skin tone to make her look more realistic so she don't look as pale. And now for um, her feet. The quality of the doll is amazing. That I have to tell you. That looks so much better. Definitely better. More realistic skin color. Yes, yeah, so much nicer. Let me do her little chest area. Just right up in here. Yep, to give her more color. And across forehead. Oh my God, I've been streaming for an hour and a half. Well, I told you, it takes me longer. I mean, I'm painting a doll of a well-known celebrity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, this takes longer. And now I'm going to have to put some sealer. Hit her up with sealer. Trust me, I was nervous. I had to, you know, redo a few things. It's, oof, this is not a rush job, sweetheart. When it comes to doing a doll of a real celebrity, come on. You, you... You just can't do it any kind of way. It has to be right. So, oh, darn. I was going to seal it. Okay, I'll use this brush for sealing. I am nervous from doing this all. I kid you not. I have no idea why. But she's done. Um, She needs a lot more hair. I'm going to um, seal the paintwork. I'm going to work on the um, webs tonight in a few minutes. I'm going to start working on the webs to um, create saran webs to give her thicker hair. Oh, wow. The sealer is making her eyes really come to life. Because this here is the um, Shimmer Sealer. Oh, wow. That looks good. Okay, do her lips. Okay. Definitely. Okay, nails. She needs natural looking nails. Ugh, and I put that brush up. Okay, a 
to run around for this one. Dixie, why are you looking at me like that? Okay, here we go. Natural color. We're going to give her like a French manicure and pedicure style. Painted nails. Okay. Sealer is drying. Mm -hmm. uh, I meant to do paint. Okay, one that dries that look natural. I'm gonna give her French tips for sure. Whew. Okay, let that dry, and then I'm gonna do matte sealer. Um, I think I might have got her lips too dark. That's what I'm thinking. Did I get her lips too dark? All right, set her there for a moment. Oh, God, move Q-tips out of the way. That'll dry quickly. Okay. This has alcohol in it. I'm cleaning my brush. Okay. Have any of you ever painted a celebrity doll or tinders? Yeah, I'm very happy with the look. It looks more like her. It's a lot, but the, the coloring I did, it's more happy. The pink cheeks, the happy glow, the eyes. It looks more realistic, more like her, more like the happy girl she is. That's what I like. To do good things. Dixie, where? Now you're going under the bed. I think you've been trying to eat plastic. Girl, you are too many things. Okay, so you know what? While that's doing that, I need to find something up. Oh, never mind. Plate. I got to create some um, brown pieces of wefts to go into our hair to glue in. And I'm going to use, pull this out to here. So, look at all the paint and stuff it took to do that. Oops, don't want that on my bed. That was a job. Okay, so I need light, light brown. What color is this? No, that's too light. Oh, that's black hair for my Asian brown. Where is the brown? Oh, brown it. That'll work. Boom, boom. Make sure I don't have another one that's a little bit darker. Oh, that might work. I have to look through them and then pick the right one. Oh, that's black hair. I need 
that for that um rejoin that does hang. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to make Saran wefts of hair. Which is the same way people make wigs for their dolls on YouTube. But I'm just making permanent glue in hair extensions. Okay. Okay, the black hair is for the BMR doll. Okay. Up smudge patch, where to go? I saw it. I saw it right there. Here we go. Smudge patch. So here we go with jazz. I'm waiting for the sealer to set. I'm going to apply apply matte sealer on her eyebrows. So we're gonna set her here for the moment while that's drying. So you can see her and why her nails are drying. And I am going to decide what color highlights will work better. Nope, nope. Yep, this one right here, the brown. Brown it number two. Oh boy, I hope this is enough hair. I hope all I need is one pack. But then again, I should only need one pack. I know this is a long video. Let me see how long is her hair. Let me see. Basically. Oh yeah, I can cut this in half. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, reading comments I've been missing. <sighs> Anna Montana. <laughs> and the beat goes on. Okay. There we go. So what I'm going to do... Let's take pieces of the hair and spread it on this plastic that it came in. So you spread that like that because she has a piece of hair across the bottom here of a very big empty space. Um, Hold on, I will show you. And I'm going to use Gorilla Crazy Crazy Glue to glue this on our head. And once I do, it'll make it permanent. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Instead of Mod Podge, I should just take a glue gun and no, no, no. It will not stick to the doll's head with Crazy Glue, so never mind. There. So, see that spot in the back of her head? There we go. So we're going to be adding a pair extension to go all the way across there to match the length of this, but in this light colored hair. So now you get what I'm coming from. Again, here's how she looks from a distance from the front. Yeah. But once she gets all that hair in, she's going to be fabulous, darling. And I have to make sure that this is going to be wide enough to go all the way across that area. There we go. Let me see. Add a little more piece for luck. 
Because once I get this hair um, glue, glued onto her head, I'm going to give her a dog, a bull perm with curls, beautiful curls. And then we will redress her fully in her outfit. And she will be fabulous. Water base, let me think. Apply several thin coats for 10 to 20 minutes between. Dry 72 hours before placing outdoors. <laughs> oh, this is outdo outdoor project. So this will become waterproof, non-toxic, and permanent. Okay? Mod Podge like that. I will show you that. Um, the next thing is to find a brush that I can do this with. Oh, there's one. This one's one I call stubby because it's short, hard, stubby hairs on the brush. And it's great for these here little projects. Because it's coarse, it will grab all these little hairs and make them bond together. Yep. Here, I'll show you up close. Since she's trying. I can't read comments, but I take the Mod Podge. And this is how you make hair wefts to do extensions or or to make a saran wig um, for your doll. But for me, I'm making hair extensions to go into her hair, but I'm going to permanently glue it onto her head with Gorilla Super Glue. Because her hair is too thin. And she has caramel highlights throughout her hair. And there we go. And this here brush is kind of rough, so I know that it's getting in between all of these hairs and it's going to permanently glue them all together. And once that dries, I will cut across here to make that nice and straight and even. So this will create my first hair extension to glue in the back of her head. And now what I'm going to do is let that hair go out there. And I'm going to create, pull this down, all the way down there. Because I'm about to apply some more hair at this other end. Go ahead and add more glue. Okay. All right, next piece. Because I can't remove her head. Um, her head will not come off for me to be able to add hair into her head. So that's why I'm having, I have no choice but to add hair this way.
and it's sticking where I already put the hair before. And with me doing this, it's giving me time for the sealer to dry so I can apply a matte sealer on her eyebrows. Okay. I could actually do a video alone on how to make wigs and hair extensions for your Barbie doll or any doll, even American Girl, by doing this technique right here. But I don't have enough hair to do that on American Girl. And this hair is Saran Hair by RestoreDoll.com. And this is the exact same hair that Robert Turner uses on his dolls. And... The Jazz Jennings doll is made, was created by Robert Turner. Okay. There we go. I make several of these. Uh, take my camera up. All right, let me read some comments. Yes, I can brush your hair after this once that dries. Um, this is RestoreDoll.com Cat Silk Saran Hair. Yep, Cat Silk Saran Hair. This is brunette number two. I'm going to blend in our hair for highlights. So you can see what I've done. So this is going to dry clear and see through. And so this, oops, let me fix my camera. That up there when it dries. And when it dries, I'm going to flip it over and do the other side the same way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all the rough edges so it'll be nice and clean. And I'm going to use Gorilla Crazy Glue to bond it onto our hair. <laughs> You're sweet, cat owl loopsy. Oh, the original doll here, she has saran hair. It is the exact same hair as this. No, I'm not selling her amber. Oh my god, this video is almost two hours. Jesus. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go ahead and touch up her um, other paints. And I need to figure out how many of these hair extensions I need to make. So there's Kira. See, she's nice and dry. Pretty, pretty. Of course. I try. A girl can try. All right. Yes, I, honey, accent. Uh, I have a scar on my throat. I have lymphoma. Where is that scar? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was cut all the way across here. I had lymphoma, so it changed my vocals. Um, my mom also just had throat surgery recently, and everyone can tell you it changed her vocals as well compared to my previous videos. 
but my throat surgery was I had to have two um, lymph nodes removed, one near my vocals, and the other was over here, so they removed two. I couldn't talk for quite a few months, That's and I had to go away from YouTube for a while, stuff like that. Ah, yes, so I know I'm going to end up doing, yeah, one of those is going to stretch all the way across. What else? Oh, snap. That's a big spot right here. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Yes, this girl. Oh, my God. Come on, really? They could have done a much better job with her, with her hair rooting. That's for sure. They totally cheated her. So, I'm going to do short pieces. Um... There. So the next piece is going to go here all the way across up there, which is good because I'm able to give her the light brown caramel highlight that she really has in her life. So this is going to work out great. And then I'm going to have to do some, I can do several of these long ones and then just like rip cut them and use them in shorter pieces to apply where they need to go. And that includes the very top of her head. Up here. Yeah, she definitely needs a lot more hair. Her hair is too thin. This girl has really thick hair. And considering how shady they were with her face mold and then skipping out on hair. Everybody knows this girl has super long thick hair. But don't worry. She's going to be fabulous. She's almost done. I'm going ahead now and I'm going to give her the... um. Oh, that's right. Her toenails. Oh, got to finish that up. Oh, darn, I done threw the plate away. Well, it's a good thing I didn't use a plate, but instead I used plastic on this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what I'm going to do, where is my matte sealer? Oh, man. Mm. Just pick a spot right there. Okay, brushes. Okay, there we go. That's cool. That works. Okay, matte sealer. Oh, it's not showing. Okay, turn it down. Oh, what? New York? <laughs> I've heard that every now and then. I actually have. If I lived in New York, I'd probably be a lot more happier. Because I love New York. New York, like I said, it's a lifestyle. It's a state of mind. Okay. Use those eyelashes. That's good. That's it. That's all I needed to do with that. Water. I'm cleaning the brush. It's actually got paint in it. Yeah, I'm going to make her quite a few hair extension pieces. Because her hair needs to be nice and thick. We're going to give her really long, tight spiral curls. I'm giving her her glam that she deserves. She more than deserves it. Okay. I need a skinnier brush to do her tips. Okay, let's give her um, French tips, manicure and pedicure. I feel like she needs a glamour gown. But you know what? I like her um, her beachy style. You know what's casual? I mean, hey, it's Florida. Wait, is she from Florida? Does she live in Florida? 
I have no idea. I think she's Florida. For anyone and all of you who watch this video, if you like it and if you think I did a good job on repainting her, please give me thumbs up. Hit it with those thumbs up. Because this, this video wasn't just about me. It was about me creating a real celebrity repaint. Um, it really put my artistic skills to the test. To what I can do, so. Any and all help is happily, happily, happily. So, see? She's got her French tips. Yay! I said to go with French. I think she'd like French. Because it'll go with anything. So, if I decide to end up giving her some glam. May maybe make her a custom dress or something. I think she's more into um Soho type style. And she came with um, sandals. So we can create something. But I'm really focused on making sure that the likeness is accurate. And well done. And portrays her correctly. Not just for her, but for her fans as well. And to inspire those who love her. Like, I cannot believe this video has been over two hours. Oh my gosh. I'm done painting. Oh no, I'm not done painting. I have to apply sealer on top of her mini and petty you've got to be kidding okay so i'm going to move that over there to dry um as you guys can see i'm working on our hair extensions great this side over here there we go it's already drying i'm lifting it up oh that's awesome see now I'm going to turn it over, oops, and apply the glue to the other side before it falls apart on me into little pieces. Okay, there we go. And I apply it thick. But then once I use the Gorilla Crazy Glue, it'll be permanently glued onto our head, so it's not going to go anywhere. But in the meantime, I want to make sure I got these webs right. There. Now I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to flip it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I made a wig for a, um, what is that doll's name by Robert Turner? Um, Ella and Wild. And I had to make the webs like this. And then I had to make the wig cap, the wig cap and everything. And I did this. And I made the hair. Oh my God, that wig turned out so thick. It is unbelievable. So, yeah, this is drying very quickly. So, once it dries, yay! Oh, I can make some more. Let me think. I need a piece of plastic. Here we go. Because I'm going to make more. I need more webs. Oops, I forgot about her nail tips. Set, the, set her right up here. Okay, so we can make more hair webs. So I can set this over here to dry. Thank God, Dixie. 
it's under the bed i need more hair this color because i wanted to reboot a jewel secret whitney with longer thicker hair i know i gave one more hair but i need to do a full reboot so as you can see i apply a towel to cover up my entire space so this is this is what i do As you can see, I'm constantly doing something. I'm always busy. Um, I ch I've always believed in arts and crafts. I love arts and crafts. I love drawing, painting, sewing. Because I'm always inside the home. I don't really go anywhere. And so... I try to be talented or put myself to use. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. None of those things. So this is what I do. That's how I become a YouTuber. Oh, this, way. So, this is a regular Walmart bag. I'm going to need smaller pieces for the top and the sides of the doll's hair. I do apologize for taking so long. But. Is YouTube my full job? Uh, no. I do dolls for other people. Plus with, um, VI toys designing every now and then. I don't do that that often. No, I don't have a job. Since my car accident and suffering from brain damage, things like that, I um been on disability and I don't get enough to make it most of the time. Okay, there we go. But this doll actually gave me so much anxiety because it, it's based on a real personality character, a real celebrity and a public figure who is absolutely beloved by so many of my viewers. And I was horrified in a way because I was like, oh my gosh, if I don't do this doll right, they are going to let me know it. But see, my thing is, if you go through my videos, you will see my struggles. My struggles are all over YouTube from when I lost my hair, with my battle of cancer, everything. My hair was so long and thick, and I lost it all, and it's been hard to get it to grow back the way it used to be. It was long. Last year, I went to the hair salon to get a new collar. And they, I said, don't bleach it. I just wanted a toner, a permanent toner to tone out any reddish tones. And they put bleach on it and destroyed my hair. I did a haircut live on YouTube. And see this, it dries very clear. Oh. I'm making several whiffs. But she's going to need them. God knows she is. They, they were scared to give her some hair. Let me tell you. And the good thing is, it's drying very quickly because of the temperature in my room. The longer webs over here, there we go at the bottom areas. These are going to go in several areas at the side and top of her head. Because she is going to deserve every bit of this hair added into her head.
but on YouTube, if you look, you will see a lot of people when they are going to make a wig for their Barbie dolls or um, Monster High dolls or Ever After, whatever doll, this is how they make their wefts to make the wigs for their dolls. Yep. See, I'm making smaller pieces, but they're thick. No, I, don't, I would not use hot glue for this because the hot glue will not be able to be permanently glued to the doll's head. I'm making these wefts because I'm going to use Gorilla Crazy Glue to, bond, to glue it onto the doll's head where the ball spots are. Now, if I was making a wig, sure, that would be great. It would work out fine, but I'm not. I'm going to be actually um, bonding this onto the doll's actual head with the crazy glue. So, um, no, um, that would not work. And by the time I'm finished, with this here particular project, um, a lot when I cut, when I go to cut off the excess hair here, I'm going to have as little as possible of like a homemade track or weft to make it thin as possible to crazy glue it onto her head to make sure that it is permanently glued on. See, this is already turning clear up here. This one, I've already done the back side. So as you can see, um, both sides of this have now been glued. But see, once I use crazy glue and glue it onto the doll's head, it will be permanently glued. It will not come off whatsoever. So now I'm going to turn this over like that. So you can tell it's already started gluing because it didn't come off the plastic. I'm wondering if this is good. No, I'm going to make sure I have plenty of hair in her head to create that look. So, yeah, I'm going to make sure it's quite a lot of a hair. I want to make sure she's got nice thick hair. Because I'm going to give her a lot of um, curls. It's going to be like, you know, like she's going to prom or something. Those kind of curls. I am very sorry for how long this video is taking. So I am sorry about the length of this video. But I mean, I could have cut it, the video, and made it into several different videos. But eh, I figured, what's the point? Just keep it going. I just didn't feel like stopping. I feel like, why not just show the process? You know, this would be the process. Now, I will stop the video once I'm done creating all the pieces for her hair that I'm going to add in. And then once all of this is dry 
and it's good for me to put in her hair then that's when I will continue another part of this video glowing in her hair all of this extra hair into her hair this was brown at number two hmm Sorry, Joel Secrets Whitney. I have to wait and reroute you, girl. I have plenty of her, so she'll be all right. So that's getting clear. Oh, this is too. Yes. But it takes up to 72 hours for this hair to, to um, basically up to two days for it to be permanently dried. And that's what you want. When you're making webs like this, you want it to be permanently dry because you want it to work. You want it to be permanent and you want it professional results. Y'all are learning something new all the time on my channel, huh? No, this isn't parchment. This is a Walmart plastic bag, honey. You ain't got to spend money on all that kind of stuff. Save your money for the hair. And if you're going to buy hair, go to RestoreDoll.com. And you get the um, cat silk saran hair. Yeah. Just get a Target or Walmart plastic bag and that's it. That's all you need. And believe me, this is going to be a lot of hair. But it's going to look so pretty. It's going to look great on her. Because it matches everything I see on the internet. Her hair is dark brown. With Carmel, um, so yeah. But also, this is how people they make um wigs for their dolls. Normally, I would have made plugs and knotted them and put them in the doll's head, but her head does not come off. And I'm making sure I have plenty of this Mod Podge glue that's waterproof, outdoor proof, and all that stuff. So once this is dry, it'll be permanently dry. And what I do, I'm going to cut it off to make it thin as possible again. So, we'll make it super thin to make those webs. And this one I want to be a little bit wider. I always put a towel down when I'm going to repaint, when I'm doing any of this, because I always work in my room on my bed. And so, towels, definitely a big security to protect my area. Okay. That's it. That's all the hair. That was one pack of cat sick hair. I think it was a um, large. Okay, let me see what this is looking like. So, see that? It's drying clear. And I end up cutting off the top. To make it as even as possible. And what I'm going to do right now. I'm probably just going to add a little more glue. Because I'm not going to be in a rush to do this. Because I want to make sure I do it right. So I'm going ahead and I'm adding more glue to the ends of this. 
and I will be doing this within the next hour on both sides on all of the hair on all of the hair pieces and one thing about plastic it's not going to stick to the plastic see Okay, awesome. Now I take this one. That was my first one. It's already getting clear. I'm going to flip it and apply glue on the other side. This is how so many people make Barbie wigs. And you want to make sure you're gluing the same spot. You got to keep the glue at a consistent level straight across. You don't want to be choppy. Because like I said, you're going to cut most of the end pieces off. have it as thin as possible the part you're going to glue on your doll's head because I'm not making a wig I'm actually going to make I'm making hair webs to glue on permanent glue on our head as highlights and this brush is going in the trash because she, she's dead this brush is dead after this. Almost done. Once I'm done, this way right here. Whew. I will move this and I will read comments and answer questions and responses, things like that. While this dries. And then bring the video to an end. And I will pick it back up. Um, maybe tomorrow. When I get ready to um, glue the hair onto the doll's head.
And what I'm going to also do is, oh, I got to put the sealer on the tips of her nails. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to turn the camera around where you can see the doll in full detail. Her full repaint, all of that. But it's going to really come together once I add the extra hair in. So once this extra hair is added into her head, and then I do the curls, and then put her um her other piece of her top back on, it's going to really make it all come together perfectly. Another reason I think I'm doing this video so long too, is so that you actually see how much work I put into what I do. I mean, like I said, I've been doing dolls for 10 and a half years, repaints, um, doll reviews, all of that, 10 and a half years here on YouTube. And quality is everything to me. I think it's very important to have, you know, being able to have a doll that's been customized, but then also one where the paintwork is permanent. And you can enjoy having that play, you know, that hair play, hair washing, all of that good stuff. Yeah, make sure I get that good. Pull that together. All right. Because I will not be putting any more of this Mod Podge onto these wefts, homemade wefts, that I've made to be glued into her head. But I am going to need to use this here sealer. I'm doing this brush in the trash. Oh, get all of these other pieces thrown away. Mm -hmm, two and a half hours. You see that, right? Yes. That, that's how I work. I work fast, but I take my time. But I also can show you what I do, how I do it. So you know that when you have a custom doll done by me, you know you're getting quality. That's number one. Number one is to know you're getting a quality doll by me. And that she's going to last for many years. And you don't have to worry about... You know, you can wash your doll's hair, all of those wonderful things. I do want to say thank you to everyone who has actually hung out and stayed on this long. That That's just thank you um, for being patient. And taking another trip in my life with me. Okay, so Jazz, she has her manicure and pedicure, and now we're going to seal it up. Now you can see the difference when it comes to repainting a whole dog. This is why people ask me, do you repaint Barbie or bigger dolls? Yes, I repaint them, but that's why I charge more money. Because it takes a lot of time to do this. This is not a very, this is not simple. It's not easy. It's very time consuming. And you have to know what you're doing because if you mess up, you're going to mess up someone's doll. And if you mess up, you are going to destroy your reputation. And I've worked too hard to maintain my reputation. There we go. 
Here we go. Jazz has nice glossy lips. The temperature in my room makes everything dry fast. Oh, thank God. If I sound winded, it's because I am. My anxiety level is just absolutely horribly overwhelming. Uh, there are no words to describe. Uh, I'm just so sick of it. It's been so elevated lately. But anyway, I look forward to these here pieces of hair drying. I look forward to gluing, permanently gluing them in onto her head. And then giving her hair a nice shampoo. Putting the perm rods in to give her beautiful, thick, glamorous curls. And then putting her beach outfit back on. Because you know what? I really want to go to the beach this year. When I say the beach, I don't do the sun, okay? Selena does not go to the beach in a bikini and go rolling around on the ocean floor like a whale. No, I like to go sit on another pier. Enjoy... The fresh air, sitting on a blanket, take some dolls, take pictures, do some video so that I can put up on YouTube and social media platforms so everyone can see. And I want to do that this year. And um, I think I want this doll to be one of the dolls I take with me. Oof. Here we go. So as you see, I'm getting all my stuff together at once. Out of the way to make room for me to set my rumpus on the bed. Paintwork can now go underneath here. Yes! I can set the doll out the way. I can now move the towel over because I'm going to let the hair stay here till it dries. But then I'm going to let the paint air So Let me get this plastic out the way so my cat doesn't eat it. Unfortunately, she thinks she's a goat. She doesn't realize she's a cat or a feline. She just doesn't. Okay. So let's get this all set up straight. Okay, guys. So. Don't forget to find me that pattern. Oh, I did forget. Well, Mom, I read. Look. I finished repainting her. Look. I'm going to give her highlights like this to match her hair on the box. All right, I'll go find it as soon as I'm done. I'm getting ready to end the video. Oh, my God. It's two over two hours. Um, Thank you all for staying with me. Thank you all for joining me. Um, Oh, my God. Let me see. If you stayed on for an entire day, people will watch it. Oh, my gosh. You rooted a Tracy Bright doll. Oh, yes. Exactly. You can make the hair as long and thick as you want. That's really good, Amber. It's the, oh, the parchment paper. Okay. I love it when you make long videos. I love a long video. Okay. I'm glad y'all do because you certainly got one tonight. If you could fit in our generation doll dress. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. But actually, it'll be for a VIE doll. They can wear the same clothes. Hot glue, okay, is YouTube? No, YouTube doesn't need my job. Mm, thank you, Paris, for that compliment of being so talented. It takes a lot of work. Okay. Okay, I think Grayson's gone. Most likely. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I think most of this is dry. I'm going to take the camera down. Hi, Ace. Um, I'm going ahead and pull some. Oof. Tarn, I hope I didn't mess that up. Okay, I did it. Um, all right, I'm going to pull her bangs down because the hair makes everything. Oh, you live in LA? Cool. Okay, are you guys ready to see this? Now, remember, I have to add the other highlights in, okay? And trust me, when I do that ball perm, these bangs will be done right. Like they're supposed to. I don't... Yeah, it was just so much they could have done to me better. Oh, yeah, LA. Yeah, you're three hours behind me. Yeah. Mm, that actually, LA would be a nice place to live. 
sunny sunshine view. Okay, without further ado, here we go. Let's turn this around. Here she is. Done. She has her pedicure ready for the beach. Um, as you can see, the blushing on the legs to give her more realistic color. Um, there's her manicure. Yes, I tried to go for realism. And then here we are with her face. Jazzy Jazz, everyone, please give me a thumbs up on this video because it took a lot of work. Um, it was very anxiety anxious for me. I did get a lot of anxiety because I'm I did a repaint of a real human being. This is a doll of a real person with an amazing facial sculpt. Oh, it kind of makes me think of Cardi B in a way too. But yeah, this is my repaint version of Jazzy Jazz. Look, her eyebrows are fierce. I gave her um, glamorous lashes. As you can see, she has shimmer. That is not white paint going around. It's actually shimmer. As I come around, you can see that more. See that? It's shimmer in the middle part of the eyes. So, full repaint on everything, and she is now done. She will be getting highlights in her hair. As that is repairing, it will be done. So, as I move, um, you can see I added the shimmer in the corner of her eyes, like the real picture. The way she had her makeup done with some shimmer. I could have done some highlight down the nose on the cheek, but I felt like that would be too much. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I think she's going to be 100% even more better once those highlights are put in and the thickness of her hair is done. So, Jazz Jennings pretty much always does her hair where it's, like, covering her face. I think they made her forehead a little too big up here. But if you look, what I'm going to do is when I do the boreal perm with the hair, I'm going to do her bangs more like that. See? So, yeah. I would do the um, hair, ball hair perm and cut her bangs and fix them where they actually come down the correct way instead of all over one side. Oh, she does need earrings. Yeah, she, I'm going to have to give her earrings. Thanks for telling me that. we got to give her her glam, you know. She deserves it. So, um, if you like this video, please do comment and um, please let me know what you think of my hand paint at work. Um, you know, I just, that's it. This was, it was very hard for me to do a doll of a real life person. Especially one who can actually see this and be like, oh my gosh, she repainted the doll of me because this doll was made in her sculpt. So we are finished repainting. We are done. But the paintwork is complete. All we got to do is add more hair. And we're going to give her this hair. Yep. All these caramel blends to blend in to give her her highlights. So, yep. I'm waiting for that to dry. And then we will add it into her hair. And we're going to give her gorgeous curls. So, in the meantime, thank you everyone for tuning in for all the long hours with me. Thank you for watching. And thank you, um, Jazz Jennings. For your beauty, for your talent, for your bravery and your courage, and for being the amazing woman that you are. That I sign her foot. Not yet, but I'm definitely going to. I should probably do that now. That way everyone knows. Oof. I did it. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we go. Sharpie. Pull all our hair back. Okay. Now I'm signing her foot. Oh, I should have did her um back waist, the lower waist, but it's okay. I'm known for signing feet. But on her, I wish I'd have done the lower waistline instead. So, the foot is signed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. 
Yep. Whew, that was a job. So I can't wait to add our highlights um, and to make the hair thicker. And then to add the rest of her clothes. And yes, give her earrings for sure. So thank you everyone for watching this video. It was, um, oh, now I can breathe. Now I can breathe. I can breathe. I can breathe. <laughs> anyway, good night, everyone. Thank you all for watching so much. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the um, honesty and for being so kind. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining me for so long. Almost three hours at Selena's Glamour's Dollhouse. Thank you so much. You got it, girl. Love, peace, and hair grease. Because, girl, I got my grease ready and set up because I use a mixture. As you can see, here is my doll. She's fully, the paintwork is fully dry. And that, uh-huh. She's got her Glamour lashes. So, yeah, this was my um, Kira. So, Jazz Jennings, the paintwork is done. All I have to do is wait for our hair. But I did want to show you where my American Girl of the Year, Kira doll, is completely, the paintwork is dry and she is done. So, you can see her up close. She's like, selfie. Hmm. Whew. Anyway, goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Good night. Word of thumbs up.